이 순간에 Oh stop 온몸이 다 반응을 해 빠르게 Shot it get me Whip whiplash Shot it get me Whip whiplash 달콤한 너의 말보다 솔직하게 필요해 Shot it get me Whip whiplash Shot it get me Whip whiplash Hey Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today. I'm so excited because I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial with the new Fenty Liquid Lipstick. And to be honest, I've already tried it and it's freaking fantastic. Basically, I'm just getting ready for work right now, so I thought I'd talk to you guys. And today I want to discuss something extremely important and that is my favorite Korean dramas. <laughs> If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that constantly on my Instagram story, I'm always posting funny clips from all the dramas that I'm watching, and that every five seconds I get a DM like, what drama is this? What drama is this? Make a list of what dramas you watching. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make a video about it, but I'm gonna do it while I'm doing my makeup, you know, two in one, two burn and one stone. Let's go. First things first, gotta moisturize my skin. You guys know how I'm so... I like to keep it juicy. So you guys know I have been obsessed with this liquid collagen from Algenes. And I will be the first to say that this is bougie as hell. Girl, I understand if you ain't got the money for that because I ain't got the money for that either. If you are blessed it and you can afford this, this is the shiznizzle. Like literally it does reverse the signs of aging. I know that I may not look like it because I use Algenis, but um, I'm actually um, elderly. So. I really need to stop calling myself old like that. Like I'm not. I'm, I'm one of those annoying millennials that calls themselves old all the time. Okay, so on to the topic at hand today. My favorite Korean dramas. There are currently four dramas that I have been watching. So the first one that I have been watching is called Because This Is My First Life. And Because This Is My First Life is a really cute drama about this couple who are roommates. So basically there's this whole mix up where the main girl in the drama is looking for a place to live and the main guy in the drama is looking for a roommate. So through mutual friends they find each other but they both think that they're the opposite sex. So the girl thinks that she's going to go live with a girl and the guy thinks that he's got a male roommate but oh my god they're the opposite sex. Whoa it's not allowed guys. And eventually because it is a Korean drama and this is pretty much um, uh, mandatory in a Korean drama is that there is a marriage contract. So eventually they get married and then of course they have to fall in love. So that one's really cute, it's really funny. There's a couple of twists and turns that you're not expecting. And also, it doesn't just focus on the main couple. So I, I find that like dramas are really interesting when they don't just focus on that one plot and there's like a couple more plots sprinkled in. So the girl so it's like it's focused on on the main couple, but also um, the girl's friends and his friends. Um, their relationships and their lives and their careers and it actually touches on some um, really important stuff in this drama. Um, I love when TV shows like really focus on like relevant issues and stuff like that and you know what guys Korean dramas have gotten more real they got more racy too you know what I'm saying like I remember back in 2004 when I first watched my first drama which was Full House. In that drama, they didn't kiss until the last episode, and it was like that kissing your grandma kiss. It was like, and then they held this. They held that for like a good two minutes, and that was the kiss. And it was like a third grade kiss. And, but nowadays, nowadays, boy, mm, this drama that I'm talking about, they's talking about condoms. There's, there's sex in it. So needless to say, a lot has changed since 2004 when I started watching dramas, which is really cool. It's really cool like seeing the progression of Korean dramas throughout the years. So yeah, once again, it's called Because This Is My First Life, and it's kind of like the concept of, you know, we're all living our first lives, we, we all don't understand 
um, everything, and we're all just trying to figure it out along the way, you know? It's my first life. Man, I remember when I used to have like prim and proper eyebrows, and now I just have like caveman, bushman eyebrows. And the unibrow is in full effect. So the second drama that I am currently watching is called Revolutionary Love. And Revolutionary Love is about this third generation rich guy. He is completely irresponsible, got nothing going for him in his life. And it's basically about him coming into himself and um, really proving himself to his family and to the family's company. And of course along the way he meets a girl who helps him do so. So it's kind of like a meeting of the classes because the girl in the story is not rich and she always works part-time jobs. So she's always working a part-time job, she doesn't live in a great apartment, and she doesn't have a lot of money. He meets her and her perspective on life pretty much like changes his perspective on life because he's always been basically this spoiled rich kid. And it's really funny. It's like one of those cheesy dramas. I feel like I'm making it sound super serious. It's not. It's like so dumb. Like honestly, you might lose some brain cells while watching this drama, but it's still really good and it still touches on some relevant issues in our world today but like it's nothing too deep but it's starring Shiwan from Super Junior who I love he's always so funny it's so weird because in Super Junior he's just like this suave kind of like serious dude but in every drama that I've ever seen him in he's ridiculous like he's he's goofy he's almost like Jim Carrey like goofy like he's crazy <laughs> So if you want like a super light-hearted kind of goofy comedy kind of thing, then definitely check out Revolutionary Love. This makeup look is going to be seriously super simple. Really all I'm doing is um, doing my like normal face routine. I'm not going to put any eyeshadows and then I'm going to put on the red lip. It's going to be that simple. So anyway guys, the third drama that I'm watching is called While You Were Sleeping. And I know that probably everybody that is watching this video is watching while you were sleeping because everyone's watching it. Um, it is one of the popular dramas at the moment and obviously it's because of the stars of the show but also it's because it's actually really good too. Like the plot is really good. The first episode will just knock your socks off. It did for me. Like it completely blew me away this first episode it was twist after twist after twist I didn't know what was going on I was like oh my god this is crazy so if you're into like that kind of wild ride of like mystery and stuff like that it's it's really cool I can't really say much about the plot without giving it away but basically it is about a girl who can see the future in her dreams and a lot of times she sees really bad things she sees people's deaths and it's really sad for her because she can see the future but she can't do anything to stop it so even if like someone that she loves is dying in the dream there's nothing she can do to stop it and honestly that's all I can say without giving it away if you have not watched the show yet it's, it's so good. I just finished watching it a couple days ago. It's it's complete. So if you haven't started watching it, you can binge watch the whole thing. Um, it's so good. The twists and turns, how everything is connected. It's just, it's very well written. Um, and that's what I really love about uh, these kinds of dramas. They need to be really well written for me. And this one really does have a great story to it. And I also got one of my favorite songs out of it. Because I love you boy. Anyways, I'm gonna stop being cheesy, I'm sorry. Then I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush in my Modern Renaissance palette and I'm going to... Wow, this thing is dirty. I, I almost, I want a new one because this one is like, I massacred it. <laughs> I, I almost want a new one. Someone get me a new one for Christmas. And I'm just gonna take raw sienna, which is like the first brown color here. And that's literally all I'm gonna be using on my eyes. Okay, so we are down 
to our last drama, guys. My favorite drama that I have been watching over the past couple weeks is go back a couple now this show is not as high profile as while you were sleeping but oh my god i am in love with this show it is my one of my favorite shows of all time i think it's definitely made the top five so basically go back couple is about a married couple who um they're having a terrible time in their marriage and they decide to get a divorce and then one day they go to sleep and then they wake up and oh my god they're back in college so they've gone back like almost 20 years it's the 90s in korea so if you're into 90s nostalgia and or you want to know more about 90s like korea and k-pop and all that stuff it is in this drama they are playing the 90s hits they got the 90s hairstyles and the fashion it is so cool stepping back in time but basically it's obviously supposed to be a lesson for them the universe is trying to teach them um how to love each other again it's so funny this drama is hilarious so when they go back in time um they're with all their friends again back in time in college the friendships are the best part. The friends are so funny. I cracked up a lot of you guys on my Instagram story when I posted a clip from this drama. When one of the characters gets his head stuck in a fence, that's this drama, if you were wondering. If anyone knows me, my favorite couples are couples who get back together. Not the ones who are like, break up, get back together like every 15 minutes. But the ones that get back together after like three years or five years or like oh that's so cute that's like a true love for me oh and I'm just gonna slim my chin down a little bit you know I could eat like less cheese but no I'm just gonna contour instead like do I want to eat less KFC or do I want to contour more life decisions but as I was saying guys go back couple is my favorite drama right now if you have not heard of it you have not seen it definitely go watch it right now it is also complete so I've completed the entire series and if you haven't started watching it you can go binge watch it right now I'm going to try and leave some links down below for you guys so that you can watch all these dramas too I'm pretty sure if you have a subscription to drama fever I'm pretty sure all of them should be on drama fever as well but uh, your girl your girl ain't got no subscription to drama fever you know what I'm saying I got the I got the hookups though I got just look, in the, just look in the description box, I got the hookups, okay? To highlight, I'm using Max O Darling, which is becoming my favorite highlighter. Whoa! Chill. Wow. Can you... Oh my... Oh my god. I kind of like it though. So if you guys have some other dramas that you're watching right now, um, definitely leave them in the comments below because I am looking for new dramas to watch because like I said, Go Back Couple and While You Were Sleeping, which were my two favorites, are now finished. So sad. I actually hate when dramas end. I'm like, what am I supposed to do now? So definitely leave whatever your favorite dramas are in the comments below. Let's have a fun discussion about dramas and hopefully I can find something else to watch. And I started watching all these dramas at once and now they're all ending and I'm like, what am I supposed to do? How do I live? This lipstick is my whole life. Bruh. Rihanna, you need to stop. Anyways, that is it. This is the finished sleigh. Uh -huh. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like this one. Give it a big thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I mean, if you've watched this whole video, then like, why haven't you subscribed yet? Like, you don't make no sense, girl. I'll see you guys in the next one.